Hey guys, I'm Eric at AeroGuard Flight Training Center, and today we are going to talk a little bit about the vertical speed indicator. We're going to dive into a little bit about how it works and how to read the instrument as well. So to get us started, what I wanted to do is kind of look here to the back of uh, the instrument, right away from the face, but kind of what's going on in the guts uh, inside. And what we'll find inside of the sealed case is a diaphragm, kind of similar to that of uh, the airspeed indicator or, or something to that effect. And what we're going to see then is, is this. We're going to use the static pressure source. And that static pressure source is going to go directly into this diaphragm. And then off of that source, there's going to be what is known as a calibrated leak. And Really what that is, and what I tried to, to show with this image, is the, the, the static pressure that's going into the diaphragm is a, a normal uh, entry here. This calibrated leak is a, a really small line, right? So it's sort of restricting the amount of air that can pass uh, in or out of the case uh, around the diaphragm. So what that means then is, is this. What we, what we basically then have is we've, we've set up a, a situation where uh, inside the diaphragm always has the most current information, right? It always has uh, the most accurate static pressure. We can say that the diaphragm has the current pressure. Now, that means then, because we restrict the amount of air that can move in or out of the case, the case pressure right, represents our, you can say, old or previous pressure. So in essence, all the vertical speed indicator is really doing is comparing what our current static pressure is to what our old or our previous static pressure was. So if it knows, if let's say the, the pressure inside of the diaphragm is relatively higher than the pressure outside of the diaphragm, what does that mean? It means our current pressure is greater than our old pressure, which means that we've descended, right? So in this case, if the pressure was greater in the diaphragm, it would expand. And if it, if it expands, we know that this arm would move down. Vice versa, if the pressure inside the diaphragm was less than our old pressure, that would imply that we are climbing. It would also cause the diaphragm to contract. As that diaphragm contracts, that will raise the needle up to indicate a rate of climb. Once we're stable at a particular rate of climb or rate of descent, what happens then is these pressures are, are sort of matching together. So what, what you'll find is when we initially start a descent, for example, the pressure inside the diaphragm would, would change immediately and that would cause the, the hand to move uh, pretty aggressively up front. And then slowly the calibrated leak allows for this pressure to stabilize at wherever rate we're descending. And the result is then it'll show us an appropriate indicated uh, vertical speed. And the same would be true, obviously, in a climb. Very good. Well, hopefully this helped uh, explain a little bit as to how the vertical speed indicator works uh, and maybe answered some of your questions. Uh, continue to like and subscribe to these videos. We're going to continue to produce more content for you, and I hope that they've been helpful. Uh, my name is Eric with AeroGuard Flight Training Center, and we will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.